28 millimeter eyelet bay pole fixing instructions. We recommend a professional or a person competent in DIY undertake this installation. We recommend two people undertake this installation. Please note, additional fasteners, other than those sent with this eyelet bay pole, may be required depending on the mounting surface. Wallboard and plaster require the use of anchors such as expansion or toggle bolts. Brick, tile, or stone need special plugs and drill bits. Remember to always pre-drill holes in wood to avoid splitting. Tools required for hanging the eyelet bay pole. Drill. 6 mm drill bit. Screwdriver. Hacksaw. Spirit level. Bracket and pole cut positions. Find which diagram is the nearest match to your bay window style. Please note the distance from each pole end to the center of the cuts. All measurements are approximate. The finial position is a guide only. Hanging brackets. These brackets are adjustable. Extend brackets to desired length and secure using Allen key and grub screws. With brackets showing two mounting holes and grub screw holes at the top and one mount hole at the bottom, mark the bracket positions checking level as you do so. Drill and fix using fixing suitable for your wall type. Bending the bay pole. Working from the center position of the bend, bend the pole slightly in the arrow positions shown in the diagram until you reach your required angle, checking the fit as you go along. Ensure the cuts are to the inside of the bend. Bend the pole in the direction of the slots. Before you begin to bend the pole, here's a practical tip. Use your knee to ease the bending process to generate a smooth bend by gently spreading the pressure throughout the length of the bend. Be careful to avoid injury or damage to your clothes as the pole cuts close. Trimming the bay pole to size. Using the middle of the center bracket as your measure, mark and trim each pole to length. Leave a minimum of 10 centimeters after the last bracket for the eyelet curtain and the mounting of the pole finial. Hanging the eyelet curtain. Using the Allen key, remove the bracket front sections. Slide the eyelet curtain onto the pole length, four or six eyelets if you want two pleats after the last bracket. From the curtain end, slide on a bracket front section. Loop the curtain around in front of the bracket and slide onto the next eyelet. Place a second eyelet on the pole and slide to another bracket front section. Loop the curtain around the bracket front again and create your remaining eyelet pleats. Slide on the finial and secure with grub screw and allen key. Hanging the bay pole. Slide the center bracket front to one side up the first pole. Insert the joining splice halfway into the first pole. Slide the second pole over the insert to make the join. Move the center bracket front to cover the pole join. Locate the bracket fronts into the bracket bases and slide the pole into its final position. Secure the bracket fronts into the bases. Using the grub screws on each bracket front underside, secure the poles in place. This pole can be used with heading tape curtains by using 28mm curtain rings, which are sold separately.